Hey everyone, in this AP Chem series video, I'll explain the difference between core electrons and valence electrons. First, remember that electron configurations are convenient ways to represent how the electrons are arranged around a nucleus. So pick any element like a neutral bromine atom shown here on the right with 35 electrons. You could show those 35 electrons in this Bohr style model in rings, or you can do a more accurate version and show each individual orbital and where each set of electrons is found. Well, this one's a little bit faster and a little bit better. They show pretty much the same thing. Two electrons in the first energy level in red, eight electrons in the second energy level in blue, 18 in the third in green, and the last seven in the fourth energy level in orange. In this video, we'll learn how to classify these electrons as either core or valence electrons. So let's get into it and start with valence electrons. You've probably heard of these before. They're simply the outermost electrons in the highest energy level of an atom. They're pretty simple to spot on this Bohr model. They would just be the ones in the outermost energy level or the outermost ring. To find the valence on a configuration is a little bit trickier because you've got lots of different orbitals to weed through and it doesn't work exactly like you'd think. For the representative elements, the valence electrons are those in the highest energy level, S and P orbitals only. There's two important parts to this description. The first is where it says highest energy level. In bromine's configuration, I've got electrons in the first energy level, second, third, and fourth. I ignore all of those but the highest energy level, in this case, the fourth. The second important part is where it says S and P orbitals only. So in my fourth energy level here for bromine, I have S's and P's. That means they will both count towards the valence electrons. These seven electrons are the valence electrons in bromine's configuration. Lastly, why do we care about valence electrons? Well, they are the farthest away from the nucleus that's going to be super important later on. They're also typically the only ones involved in bonding to other atoms. These are really important ideas about valence electrons. Make sure you've taken a moment to write them down. Let's switch now to the core electrons. These are, of course, the inner electrons in all the energy levels lower than the valence. Here on bromine, since my outer energy level here are the valence ones, that means the core electrons is everything inside that. And it works the same way on the configuration. We already identified the 4s2 and the 4p5 as the valence electrons. So the core electrons are everything in the first, second, and third energy levels. What's so special about core electrons? Well, they're closer to the nucleus. That's going to matter for some stuff later on. These are also not involved in bonding to other atoms. These are some important key ideas related to core electrons. Make sure to write them down. So let's close the video and apply these ideas by comparing the core and valence electrons in neutral atoms of calcium and phosphorus. First thing I need is a periodic table to see how many electrons these atoms have. Calcium is right here with 20 electrons and phosphorus is right here with 15. Now that I know how many electrons they've got, I can start off by simply listing out the electron configuration for each. Calcium goes up to 4s2, phosphorus goes up to 3p3. In the next step, I'm going to really clearly label the electrons in each energy level on the configurations. So the first energy level will label in red, the second energy level in blue, the third energy level in green, and then just for calcium, which goes up to the fourth energy level in orange. I like to do that labeling because of the way we have to find valence electrons. The first step is to go to the highest energy level. And if we've got them labeled out, it's pretty clear to find for calcium, for example, the highest energy level is the fourth. That means I'm only looking at the highest energy level, that fourth energy level, and I can ignore the first, second, and third. S and P orbitals only will count. So in calcium, it has the two electrons in the 4S orbital. Here for phosphorus, its highest energy level is the third. The S and P orbitals both count in that highest energy level, so phosphorus has five valence electrons. Once you've got the valence figured out, the rest is pretty easy because the core electrons are simply everything else. So 16 core electrons in calcium and 10 core electrons in phosphorus. And that wraps up this video on core versus valence electrons. Thanks for watching and here's a brief summary.